Uh, we're making this user thing here, right? So room form pff, probably needs to be on the page first. Get out of my face. There you go. Room form is now dollar sign r. So dollar sign r dot users gives us this an array of things with labels and values. And that's how you use React Select. So we use select here instead of a text field, wherever this is. Here it is. Instead of an input, I'll make a select. I'll give it a name. We'll call it users still. We'll give it options. And its options will be this dot users, open, close, parens. So that'll be the, the array that it receives. OK, got a bunch of warnings. Div cannot appear as a descendant of paragraph. That is true. So we'll change this paragraph to a div. Because what it does is it uh, doesn't use an actual select dropdown. It uses a, a series of nested divs. Yay. OK, now it doesn't work when you actually select one. But by golly, we got the thing to appear on the screen. Style-wise, it needs a lot of work. Also, in terms of just like working and stuff, it needs a lot of work. So it calls an on change, handle change, if selected option. OK, so it's going to pass in the selected option. So it's going to probably need its own handle change. So it puts OK. So it stores it separately in state, so selected option. Let's instead um, say value is what this dot state dot room dot users, which I think we initialized already to an empty yeah empty array. Okay, didn't completely break anything yet. Still get a little uh, failed prop type, invalid prop value of type array supplied to value expected object. OK, so it wants an object, not an array. What if it's a multi select? See how the multi select even works. Where's our select? Disable multi, so you add a multi prop. Looks like multi on change, handle select change, options, options, placeholder, whatever. I don't know what simple value means. Find that in the docs somewhere. Let's see what this does for us. It is no longer giving me the error about the invalid prop type. Once I change it to multi, then it did expect an array. So that's cool. So now handle change doesn't work, but let's see what their handle change looks like. Handle select change. You've selected whatever. So we have handle change. This is not going to work the same way as the other fields. so. Handle select change seems fine. And it's going to actually put in the selected value, not the other thing. So uh, we still need to make a copy of room, probably. And this time we'll say room. Uh, 
I guess I don't even get the target. So room dot users. Equal selected value. This dot set state room. Not sure, but that seems like a reasonable place to start. Not public. OK, nothing at all is happening. Let's do a console log here. Console log selected value. Uh, how about actually putting this in the on change down there? You clown. Here's my select. I need an on change. On change equals this dot handle select change. Select one. There it is. So that's what it does. Throws an array on there. Add both of these users. Uh, private room test. Description, just like it says. Create room. There's private room test. Let's check it out. Let's check out main rooms, private room test. I've got public is false, and I've got users. I've got an array of users. Um, store a list of users for private rooms. Now, we're not doing anything to restrict access right now, but we've got it actually adding the thing. That's a huge step, and uh, 10 minutes ago, it looked like it was more than we were going to be able to do. 